The Jeep driver was carelessly and recklessly driving, causing him to lose control on this wet road and slam into the building and then the lamppost. No injuries were reported. The driver thought he could make it by turning, but sideswiped oncoming traffic. The turning driver would be found at fault. I have to go left on four. Oh, holy! Did you score a call? No, like, no, no mind, no mind. Oh! We got it! 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 <laughs> the camera caught this driver who stole a vehicle get hounded by not just one, but multiple cruisers. As the saying goes, you may be able to outrun a single cop cruiser, but one can never outrun the radio. It's not totally clear as I can't see the lights, but from what it looks like, it seems as though the silver sedan driver ran a red, causing the black sedan driver who was turning to clip him head on. Do you agree or disagree? The Ford truck driver attempted to illegally pass to overtake the camera, causing the sideswipe and rear end collision. The Ford truck driver was sighted and found at fault. Nissan SUV driver pulled out across multiple lanes to get to the drive through ATM, causing this incident with the camera. The other driver drove off and pretended like nothing happened. The impaired driver suddenly swerved to the other side of traffic, nearly colliding head-on with the opposite car. The karma cop pulled him over instantly before he could hurt anyone. The Beetle driver runs a solid red light, T-boning the white SUV. The Beetle driver would be, clearly, at fault for this accident. The car got cut off by the truck, and the driver confronted him at the next intersection. The truck driver decided not to escalate this and drove off, which arguably is the right thing to do. Road rage accomplishes nothing. Watch closely, Bambi dodges cars in 8 lanes to make it to the woods safely and unscathed. Hopefully Bambi stopped at a gas station and bought some lottery tickets with that luck. Going nowhere. Ah. The truck driver was going way too fast and weaving in and out of lanes. The karma cop spotted him and served some instant karma on a platter. Double DS TV, here we go, indeed. The orange truck driver dangerously and illegally overtakes on the left shoulder, nearly colliding with the camera. Ahead, the truck driver almost collided with other vehicles as well. A 
In my experience, whenever two separate people reverse at once in a private parking lot, the liability tends to be split 50-50, which is why, clearly, it's very important to always look while reversing. The tow truck driver pulled out in front of oncoming traffic nearly causing an accident. Since the camera was alert, he managed to prevent a collision. Silver Ben's driver to the right failed to pay attention to the stopped traffic, causing this minor fender bender. A little alertness could have prevented this. The hatchback driver stopped in the middle of the freeway because he wanted to merge left. This is an extremely foolish and hazardous move for the driver and everyone else. The next two Bambi clips may not be suitable to all viewers. If you'd like to skip it, please fast forward 40 seconds from now. This clip is a great example of expecting the unexpected. Unfortunately for the camera, he came up a blind embankment when Bambi, who was fed up with 2020, just jolted in front of the car, totaling the camera's vehicle. Four, three, one, Bambi was shocked to see itself go on DDS TV, but then panicked when it got honked at, T-boning the truck. You know the saying, lightning never strikes twice in the same spot. Well, on DDS TV, lightning strikes thrice in the same spot. The distracted driver failed to notice the stopped cars, resulting in this minor fender bender.